Hello everyone, welcome back to BBR English. On this channel, we discuss different tips and tricks that Indian working professionals can use to improve their communication skills, particularly spoken English fluency. And today's video is all about how you can introduce yourself into different settings. And this is an important area because introductions are everywhere. Anytime you go into a job interview or a client meeting or even a virtual call or a regular meeting, you have to introduce yourself. You might find yourself talking to people who you have never talked before and giving a poignant and a good introduction that is to the point and helpful for the other person is of paramount importance. And in today's video, we are going to discuss different aspects of different settings where you will be asked to introduce yourself and how you can go about it. So let's get started. First of all, the most common of all that is in-person meeting. Covid lockdowns are gone, we are all back to office, a lot of us and even if it is, you will find yourself meeting in person a lot more than you used to in the one and a half years of Covid. And when you go around and meet people for the first time, you definitely have to let them know a few things about yourself. And one of the most easiest and the simplest way you can introduce yourself is to take your hand forward and simply say, Hi, my name is Varshit or Hi, I'm Varshit. And in this setting, you can simply just keep your hand straight up forward and just ask, you know, give them a cue for them to shake your hands. Or you could go a little bit further as well. If it's a little, if you're meeting somebody who is a bit more senior to you, you could be, uh, and particularly senior and older in age, you could go something like, hi. You could have a little bit of stooping of your back to show a bit more respect. Uh, but this particular bit is optional. And in a professional setting, you may or may not do that. In case uh, uh, there is a bit of a distance and you simply just can't shake hand, the level of formality is not even there that much, you might simply just, gonna just give a hi and say, say hi. And this is particularly important when you're catching people's attention as well. Uh, if you have, because if they're not expecting you, and hi, myself first, then you could just point the fingers yourself and then uh, maybe go a little one or two line about why you're talking to them and why you were catching their attention. Uh, in all of this, usually you do not have to ask their name. It's reciprocity. People understand. We're going to go ahead and reply back with their name and a bit of their brief introduction as well. The next common setting that is going to happen is over a phone call, specifically if you are in a client facing and a sales role. And, and in this particular setting, you might actually be talking cold or the other person might not remember that they were expecting you. So you want to be a little bit more clear, articulate, and you want to make sure that the other person gets high. I'm Varshit. Am I talking to Mokul? And you want to make sure that this chain of communication is very clear in the same order so that the other person, the receiver, and gets to know who the person is calling and who the person wants to talk to in case the receiver is not the same person. Uh, this will allow them to be able to direct to the right person and just, just set up the tone for the conversation. In case you might also want to add if there's something important that I am calling you in the regards of let's just say uh, other project proposal brief or about the complaint you made you just want to create the agenda clear as well uh, hopefully the conversation should not be very very long in general on a telephonic conversation sometimes they can be but uh, and accordingly the agenda should be something that is uh, crisp and to the point and not something that has an elaborate discussions with four to five points uh, next big is video calls and virtual meetings that has become big all thanks to COVID and definitely Zoom which allowed us to survive COVID and video calls have become incredibly important because we all have teams that are in different cities, different countries, different continents and we all have to meet each other on a video call. A video call has a little different sense of introduction etiquette though the basic principles still remain the same. Yes, you do have to go ahead and introduce yourself by saying uh, hi, I am this and that, but obviously you cannot have a physical contact or any sort of a gesture coming around because you may not be visible on the screen. So, but what thing you do need to have is ensure that you do have a good mic and you are generally loud that you can speak into and other people can hear to you. Uh, in case if there are a lot of people in a room, sometimes virtual meetings because it's so easy to assemble everybody can have a large gathering as well. In that setting, you do want to just throw away your introduction into a chat box so that people do not have to go around everyone and spend a lot of time because the meetings can be time constrained as well. So you can just throw away your introduction into the chat box talking about, hi, my name is this, I'm from this background, I am, uh, I'm in this meeting role and this is my uh, role here in this particular company whatsoever. And this allows people to get to know. Also, another thing is that almost all video tools, uh, just like Zoom, allows 
people to display their name so you do not even have to you know ask for their name as well so that from a degree of formality might also go away uh, you can just, just simply start talking to the people directly onto the point so the need of the introduction unless it's a very small gathering and you're interviewing someone or getting to know for the very first time can diminish quite a bit if it's a larger gathering again i i repeat myself from earlier just throw your introduction to the chat box and as the host of the meeting that is the protocol i would recommend for the introductions finally overall i would say is that just keep certain ground rules into mind when you're introducing yourself the number one of which is this is a big no no do not over introduce yourself yes all of us love to talk about ourselves love to go on and on and on about we have done this this is what we have done every simple little aspect of life unless of course you're an equal introvert but even then you would enjoy sharing things about yourself to the right audience and please do not do that uh, do not over introduce because you have to respect people's time you have to respect people's attention and energy they will not necessarily be able to follow you they'll get confused most important of all they will get irritated if you're just going to over introduce yourself so keep your introduction brief and short just tell your name where are you from or what is the role in your company and in the capacity depending on the different setting you can expand it a bit or short but second important point whatever you do be prepared with your introduction do not go blind and just simply say that i know my all about myself i can introduce myself anytime no just keep your introduction at ready for different settings and different circumstances so that you can introduce yourself well because you can open well you can make a great first impression because if you start blabbering about your own introduction people will simply believe that you're just not clear as a person who you are and they will not take you very seriously and another is that only elaborate when people ask you for do not go for big detailed expansions on everything you've done so far if you're let's just say in a meeting and uh, with a big c ex- executive team and you're just a junior analyst uh, you don't want to introduce everything about yourself and every project you've worked upon only do it if the management asks for it if the senior leaders ask for it do not uh, elaborate too much and finally this is very very important please make sure that your overall grooming and the etiquettes are aligned because when people are meeting you for the first time they are meeting you for the first time and then making a first impression and it should be great and no matter how many times you have rehearsed yourself and how perfect is your choice of words and introduction if your haircut is not nice your nails are not cut your your dress is poorly fitting and it's stained or you're not smelling nice or if it's a virtual meeting your kids are going around into the background and you do not have a blurred background or a proper virtual professional background then it's just not going to make a great first impression and you're just going to lose the audience so please do make sure that we need to go and meet people either in person or the virtual environment understand the general decorum the norms the etiquettes around it and how to do that better please you can watch another of our previous video that is about on delheim speaking model and that is going to help you understand how to you understand the norms better and yes go ahead and give a fantastic introduction next time you're meeting someone and with that said i hope you found this video useful and productive and if you did please smash that like button share with your colleagues and coworkers and please do subscribe to our channel we we are english and turn on the notifications just like always i would love to hear your thoughts into the comment section please share your ideas i would love to read all of them and respond to them and very finally let me know what do you, what video do you want me to do next till then goodbye